over a week. <laughs> yes. Jeez. <laughs> it has been a little chaotic, but not here, just kind of outside of here for a few of us. <laughs> so, um, anyways, we're really happy to be back, and it is July. It's July! Hallelujah for <laughs> June being over. June seems so long. Yes. And the first half of 2020 is over. So let's hope the second half is a little less crazy than the first half has been. Yeah. Now, right? Let's hope that things start looking up for us. I know. Um, so as you all celebrate Independence Day this weekend, we just want you all to be safe and have a good time. But also just keep in mind that we are still social distancing. Yes. <laughs> and so just make sure that you're all taking necessary precautions and safety if you're using those fireworks and mm -hmm. have a lot of fun yeah um so today our craft is independence day themed and we're yes. really excited about that i know but and first we, we have some announcements <laughs> how many people do we have some love you guys want to hear about our sale and some new things we have going Stop. on we've got about 60 people on our okay All right. let's, let's just hang awesome. in there a little bit longer i know so you might see in our display here with us we got cameo fours in stock yay we're really excited we're very excited yeah. we had blush uh, black and white they're all on the website the blush is currently out of stock but we'll eventually have them again they sold out fast they did they went really fast but black and white are still available and we're really excited to really like we're going to demo this with you yes. live on here um, today I'm we really right now we have it loaded with a, ta a five yard roll of or uh -huh. we just wanted to show y'all how easy it is to use the roll feeder yes. with the cameo four Which I is think, a brand new feature yes I think this is amazing because you guys know I still have the cameo one <laughs> and when I'm using my rolls I have it on a cart and I set the roll on the floor and then it is usually ends up kind of moving around <laughs> on my floor so this, this is, is a game changer it is it's I'm, so nice and I love that it's adjustable mm -hmm. um, so this um, edge right here you can pull it back or in depending on the the width of your roll um, so I do know that there are some uh, vinyls that might come in six inch width mm -hmm. and stuff and you can still adjust that down if you have a six inch yeah width and roll. you'll just show them on the roller over here yep um, you guys know you do that mm -hmm. little lever and what you, you can got? adjust it there right now ask will you be stocking or cal 651 again no. We don't know. Not no, right now. No, not right now. <laughs> we don't know. Um, yeah. Possibly in the future. I do know that we probably will have, um, what, what is it? An alternative. Yes. Well, we do have alternatives. Yes, yes, we have the StarCraft HD, yeah, we um, do. which is great, and we love it. It yes. comes in glossy and matte. Um, right now, we are not carrying Oracle, so. We're experiencing lots of manufacturing. Yes, yes, we are having shortages. manufacturing shortages on their end, and it was causing us to delay getting our orders out. That was a lot of our backup yeah. was Oracle issues. But if you haven't tried StarCraft HD, you should because it is literally amazing. Yes. And I love that it comes in glossy and matte. Mm -hmm. We have it in every single size that we did in Oracle 651, so you're not missing out on any of those awesome sizes like the five-foot roll that everyone loves. Yes, so you much. can still get it. It's cheaper. It's two fifty for the five-foot yes. roll. Courtney said that she's in love with the Starcraft vinyl. Yes, yes. Courtney, we I love too. it too. Y'all remember, too. if you want to go back, you can look at that summer board we made to put mm -hmm. on my front door. Yes, it worked amazing. It worked beautifully. It still looks beautifully. Y'all, it's sitting outside. Arkansas is humid. If you haven't been here, it's mm -hmm. like humid. The vinyl, 97% <laughs> humidity. It's like a swamp. Y'all, I a checked swamp. it. I checked it the other day because we've had customers calling and asking how it holds up. It still looks as good as the day we yeah. put it on a month ago. No bubbles, so. no peeling. No bubbles. Nothing. It is on yeah. there perfectly. It looks good. My neighbors always comment Aww. on it. So it works great, y'all. If you're having troubles getting it to stick, it could be that your wood's not dry enough. Like, uh -huh. And if you're having troubles cutting it, it could be your setting. And I can almost guarantee you it's your setting. The StarCraft HD has a thinner liner, um, and it allows you to do more intricate cuts. And so you need a lot less pressure. If you're on a Cricut, I have exper I have like experimented here with a Cricut maker, and your pressure needs to be as low as it will go, which is 75. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, when you're using it, you guys can always give us a call. We'd love to troubleshoot with you guys. Mm -hmm on using the StarCraft HD. Yeah. yeah. So, do you think there's enough people to tell about our sales? <laughs> okay. Right. We have a sale. We sent an email out this morning, but if you yep. didn't see that email blast, what's on sale, Shyla? It is 15 by 12 inch Easy Weed Sheets, which Woo is a heat transfer vinyl made by Caesar, and we all love it here. And you're going to save 15% off with a coupon code. 
Independence <laughs> 15 is the thing. <laughs> That's a long one. No, I know. It's a long coupon code. Independence 15. Um, all together. <laughs> you Don't sing the song. Corbin, do you uh-huh. want to sing it? Go ahead, sing it. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-C. <laughs> Independence. So there's your coupon code. They'll put a link. I'm sure Stephanie is on the back end. She'll put a link, um, put it in there in the comments yes. Um, yes. for us. But it's good on Easy Weed 15 by 12. And it will, the if you order more than 15 sheets of it, you get it a discount. And yeah. so your discount will be even more. Yes. So it's got to be 15 of the Easy Weed, though. Like yes. You can't mix and match glitter and stretch in there. It's right. just the Easy Weed. So regular Caesar Easy Weed and 15 inches by 12 inches only. So That's what's make on sure sale. you're using getting that size in your cart. Mm-hmm. Um, and that coupon code will work amazing for yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. Um, also, orders are still shipping for free over $50. And we are back to shipping within 24 hours or Holy less, cow. guys. Yay! Remember how fast we used to be? We're back to that now. <laughs> We're red, white, and back. We're we red, red, white, white, and, and back. back. So yes. your order comes in, and we are going to get it out just as quickly as it comes in. Yes. So. Really exciting. You guys stuck with us. And Thank you. We <laughs> appreciate it so much. We, we, I feel like it's coming in waves, mm-hmm. you know, and we're like, we're getting our footing and we're finding what works for us. Yeah. And with the expansion and everything, everything's working so much smoother and it I feel is. like we're on top of everything much better. Yeah. So, so thank yeah. y'all for spreading our name out yes. there and for sticking with us when we had our delays going on. We really appreciate y'all backing us up everywhere. So yes. y'all are great. All right. So take advantage of that sale and we have a lot to talk about. We do. We've got <laughs> some new products yes. to talk about. We do. What should we talk about? about first so I feel like we should just go ahead and introduce the Caesar medals since we're not yes. talking about them today much using them yes so check out Margie's cute shirt. shirt I made this she's in the new Caesar medal yes if you love metal which we sell a ton of the silver and gold mm-hmm. um, we used it on our last 4th of July project we with this the, with the firework mm-hmm. so we have demoed it before it's an amazing product and now there's new colors so we'll demo it I'm sure we'll bring them and do a demo but I we were doing this 4th of July live and I was like, I had this shirt I wanted to make. I was like, I'm going to use the new medals because I love them. Yes, you can go overhead, Corbin, real quick. So we have three new colors in Caesar metal. Margie, you want to tell them the colors? All right. So this top one is the blue silver. <laughs> what is so see? funny? I mean, the metal's like a mirror, so you can see y'all's face all Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is the blue silver. It's oh what gosh, my it's my, face. my sunglasses are made of on my shirt. Yes. And then regular blue. And then blue. regular blue and red. And red. Yes. Guys, I feel I love like red is the red. so fun. Look at it. I feel like they launched this in just the right amount of time. For Fourth yes. of July, and just you know, we celebrate. I kind, I feel like we celebrate America all July long. You so gotta do. You I'm gonna do. I'm wear this shirt all, all the time. <laughs> yes, year round. Yes, <laughs> or at least so. Round. I think the silver blue is my favorite, and mm-hmm. I feel like it has a purple hue and green. It kind of takes on different. It's almost really holographic cool. looking in yeah. different lights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, I use the silver Bella shirts that we have here. The sil- yeah. silver Bella canvas online. It looks a lot darker, but I love it. It's kind of like mm-hmm. a light 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 gray I don't always like a white t-shirt because yeah I can stain them up a lot yeah, it seems I like so. Stain them up a lot. <laughs> yes so. Um, so if you aren't sure how to use Caesar metal and you love these colors and you want to give them a try and you like what it looks like on Margie's shirt there is cut and press settings yeah. on our website under the product and um, the most important thing is to remember to let it completely cool it's off. a cold pill <laughs> and even when I was peeling it last night I knew it was a cold pill and then I went to peel it it you kind of resisted no no I didn't want to want to peel warm but it resisted and I was like oh, did I let it cool too much but it didn't it didn't it just, yeah. no oh, it looked good. good and you guys if y'all could feel it they're so thin like that's yes. what I love about them you don't even feel like there's we, anything on your shirt yeah Margie and I rave about the foils because of how thin it feels mm-hmm. and it's just so lightweight and the the metals are very very similar they so. are you feel like they're thick cutting them but then once you get it yep. on your shirt oh you'll be in love oh you're in love try it out <laughs> <laughs> so um Caesar metal is its own category under the HTV tab and under Caesar, you'll see the metal. Um, they come in 20 inches by 12 inch sheets, and they're 3.99 each. And that bulk discount applies. So if you buy 15 or more, you will receive a discount on those. Ooh, that's a good deal. It is a good deal. It is a good deal. So today we are going to be using our Cameo Four, yes. and we're going to just do a little Fourth of July craft on this little kind of cutting board, cheese board. I found these on clearance at Target in the dollar spot. I think yeah. a couple years ago. 
<laughs> I bought a couple of them. I've had them up here because I'm like, this will be perfect for a live. So yeah, they're already lined in the blue, yeah. the navy color. So real quick, I just want to show you guys how easy it is. So we're going to actually cut um, our new product that we're going to talk about in a minute on the Cameo. So I just want to kind of show you guys how, if, the, if overhead, can they see this? Or should we move yes. it? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So um, you will just unload and it's going to kick it out. And it actually has this bar here that holds the vinyl in place, which I love. Yes. Um, and you, this is a, like a matless situation here. Yes. So if you're using a roll, you do not want to use a mat. And you literally just slide it out. And then this is spring loaded. Actually, yeah, we might want to back it up and put it more towards the middle. Okay. Okay. Do I need to like start all over? Nope, you're right. Okay. Okay. I'm like, sorry. Oh. All right, so once you have it unloaded, you literally just lay it down like that, and then I don't want to break okay. it. You're okay. So you need to actually lay it down. Hang on, let me put this vinyl down. Shal has got the four at home, <laughs> so she knows. Yeah, I do know. It's kind of tricky though. Especially if we haven't used it a whole lot, so the more you mm -hmm. use it, kind of the looser it gets. Yeah. Doing it backwards probably doesn't help. No, I'm like so backwards right now. Here, it looks. Wow, oh, let's unplug it. Okay, now turn me around. Ta da! Alright, is that good on the overhead if we have it like this? It's a little dark, but it's okay. So, yeah, you flip it down and then you literally slide it back in. And you can actually use it as a tray if you wanted more stability. You can still leave it out a little bit to give your mat more stability or extend your table. Um, so I love that, but it literally just slides and clicks in. Um, this is how you open it here. It has this flap that you just push in. I love it. This is a cool little um, blade holder. Nice. Yep. Little caddy. Yep. It's really cool. It is. It's beautifully made, and mm -hmm. I love it so much. All right. Should we turn it back around for the cutting? What do you think, Corbin? Should we cut it like this or turn it back around? Uh, probably turn it back around. Okay. okay. All right, we're gonna plug her back in. Okay, so. I love how it lights up cameo. Oh, I know. Beep, beep, beep. It's so pretty, I love that it sound. It is beautiful. All right, so we are gonna use a new product. Yay. We've got another new StarCraft Magic line has been extended. <gasps> expanded. Yes. I don't know why I say extended. They have expanded their line of the StarCraft Magic adhesives, which you all guys know that we've talked a lot about the Deceit and the Illusion and the Spectrum, yes. which is all what you guys are used to hearing, but now there's three new categories. It's so cool. They're so ah! beautiful. So they yeah. have a metal line. Yes, they do. And um, this is one of the blue. Are we overhead or front? We're on front right now. Okay. This is the blue metal. And this is the brushed metal. Y'all. That's actually chrome. Oh, this they is the chrome. chrome. Okay, this is chrome. Yep. So that I one's was wrong. It's fine. That one's considered chrome finish, and this is the brushed metal. There's a lot of different but colors. But it's under the metal line. They're all under the okay. metal line. So this and that are under the metal. This yes. is the chrome. It's beautiful. And then this is the mystique, y'all. It's a glitter. It's a chunkier glitter than the deceit. Is it or is that the hoax? Oh my gosh, this is the hoax. Yeah. Th that's the hoax. Okay, so these two colors. <laughs> It's really confusing, guys. I know. Okay, so this um, purple and red here is the new hoax. It's similar to the Deceit, but it's a chunkier it's glitter. chunkier. Like Margie said. Yeah. So, hoax. Hoax hollow. Hoax hollow. Is what it yes. is. Yes. Hoax hollow. Hopefully we're saying that right. I don't know. And then there is also the Mystique, which I Yay. said earlier. Oh, you grabbed this. So this is oh, yeah. also under the metal class. It's um, just kind of a specialty one. Is it it's, like diamond plate? Yeah, or it's something? diamond plate. Mm -hmm. um, kind of gives that we'll guy vibe. That really this is like a guy vibe with the whole toolboxes. Mm -hmm. It looks like a toolbox. Yes, very cool. So and so that's really the fun. diamond plate, and you can find that under the metal category. And then this is an example of the new. What's it called, Margie? Mystique. <laughs> it's an X-Men mystique. That's oh. pretty. I like that one. It's really yes. pretty. This is the rose gold. Guys, there's, I think, 12 to 14 colors in, in each, each one. Category. So I just kind of grabbed a couple. You can see mm -hmm. them all on our website. The link will be dropped in here. It's under yep. StarCraft Adhesives. We have new lights, so it makes it super bright. Yeah, <laughs> y'all, we're still trying to get the lights. If the coloring is off, we are sorry. Yes. So um, we thought it would be really fun for this project. We were originally just going to use plain adhesive because we didn't know these were launching, but we've got these now, <laughs> so 
we're like, let's use these. We literally changed our mind like less than 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, while we were eating lunch. I'm like, ooh, let's use these instead. Yes. So this is a fun 4th of July vibe that we're going to do. Natasha asked, how does the cameo compare to the maker? So, Natasha. Silhouette and Cricket are two whole different It's like entities. apples to oranges. It really is. And I feel like once you've learned. Now, what's cool is that. You can use the Silhouette software with Cricut. And so Silhouette software, I feel like, is a more broad spectrum, and you're mm -hmm. allowed to do a lot more than you are in the Cricut design space. Yes. Um, and so the cool thing about Cricut, though, is that it's really mobile friendly. And so if you don't have access to a computer, then Cricut is your way to go. Yeah. Um, the app for Silhouette is not developed right. It's not um, great. They haven't put a whole lot of money into it. And I feel like it's because their software is so amazing mm -hmm. for desktop that they really just don't yeah. need to. Um, so it just depends kind of we got started on silhouettes and that's what we yeah. stuck with so yes. it's kind of your preference it is people will argue night and day about why silhouettes better than cricket or why crickets better than silhouette that's so true but they're yeah. both great yes and um, the cameo has a I mean overall though I feel like silhouette offers more features mm. um, for designing aspects yes yeah, especially when you upgrade to the designer or the business edition in the software, mm -hmm. it gives you so much more capabilities. Yeah. And it's not an online based software. Like I see people posting a lot like Cricut design Cricut. space is down. down. I can't mm -hmm. use it. Where Silhouette, it's not web based at all. And so yeah. you have you it on your machine. Internet. You don't need internet, so you can just mm -hmm. do it. So yeah. very nice. Anyway, they have their pros and cons. I know. I don't know if that helps or just confused you more. Yeah. But. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's literally preference and we honestly we have people here who have both mm -hmm. and they use one or the other hand in hand like yeah. it's just it's preference and I feel like once you get accustomed to one software it's hard for you to learn another mm -hmm. one and so that's really where people get kind of stuck yeah. but um, Margie and I are silhouette girls yeah. and we try not to be biased here and I know a little bit about Cricut uh, I'm learning <laughs> yeah. so I can try to help um, but maybe not much yeah. so um the SVG that we're going to be cutting today is on the website for free. So if you would like to use it, you can. It's one of our featured products. So when you it go is. to our, when you just go to mycraftsource.com, it will be listed there. Yep. As well as the cameos are also listed there. And some of the new um, StarCraft Magic line is also on our featured products. Isn't this pretty? I love when I open <laughs> a new cutting mat. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's like the most satisfying thing ever. I know, but Margie, let's tell them a used. tip with brand new cutting yes. mats and adhesive vinyl not so much heat transfer vinyl but adhesive vinyl is paper backed um, and so sometimes they don't like each other <laughs> there it'll be too sticky these sometimes. come very very sticky and so something that I find helpful is maybe taking like just a washcloth or a shirt or a rag or something mm -hmm. and just kind of dab all over it to kind of get rid of some of that pants. yeah exactly <laughs> Yeah. It's so, still sticky. It is. It, it will <laughs> definitely stay sticky. Yeah. Um, Marty, something I just thought of is we did not size this to that. Oh, no. So we might want to measure. Guys, and this is kind of cool because today yeah. we're going to really walk you through start to finish. So this live might be a little bit longer and we hope that you guys stick with us. Yes. And if you have any questions along the way, feel free to ask because we're here to help. What I love about the Silhouette cutting mat is it has a built-in ruler. Yay. So if you don't have your ruler because your kids steal it like mine do, you can do this. Yeah. So shallow the board is about six by seven. Okay. Six and a half by seven. Six and a half across, seven long. Okay. Let so me just get all this back she's together. just going to work on that. Again, I don't know if you can find these anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I used to be really bad. I would just see stuff and buy it, and I still have, like, a cupboard in my yeah. closet. So I think 5x5 five five is perfect. Yeah. This is a circle design, so it's literally just going to yeah. be a circle in the I center. That would be good. Um, and so we're going to go with a 5x5 five five on Do that. we need to do something to the board before we cut? So... Weren't we going to do something to the board? Yes, 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 we were. I forgot about that. <laughs> We are going to show you how to distress it a little Roger, bit with so alcohol ink. I love how you're testing me right now. <laughs> I wasn't trying to test you. <laughs> Listen, all I'm going to say is I've had kind of a lengthy last Shyla four has. days of my personal life, and so I might, may not all be no, here. No, no. Um, I'm just excited to try it out. Yes. So, y'all know we sell alcohol inks. Yay. 
and so you can use them in tumbler making. Um, we're going to show you how you can use it to add some stain kind of color to yes. this wood. And the great thing about alcohol inks is they dry really fast, so you don't have to wait. Like when you use a wood stain, you usually got to wait 24 to 48 hours for it to really Absolutely. get in and dry completely so you can put your vinyl on it. Mm -hmm. So We thought it was going to be really cool to, oh gosh, um, we thought it was going to be really cool to whitewash this mm -hmm. board, so to speak, but we are running low on our Blanco alcohol what? ink, yeah. and white alcohol ink is so popular. It is, and we can't find it, so we're using the Burrow, or no, Havana, Havana Brown. brown. Yeah. We also have a Burrow Brown. This we is do. Havana Brown. Um, you could use gray. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can literally distress the wood however you'd like, or you don't have to distress the wood at all, but alcohol ink is a really fun way to distress wood. Yeah. Casey and Karen, say hello. Hi. Oh, Casey and Karen. And Amanda. So, hey, Amanda. Hello. Should I show them how we're going to do that? You want to hand me the cup and the paper towel? Yes. So, so there is some um, rubbing alcohol in so the cup. So, we have put some rubbing alcohol in the cup. Overhead. Okay. So, alcohol inks need then, rubbing alcohol to dilute. You could use water, but I think it would just distort the color too much. And so you try to keep the compounds the same. So how many drops should I do? I would do five in that much. Three, four, five. Yeah. That might've been six. <laughs> and so <laughs> I wasn't really, <gasps> I didn't spill it. It just mixed them up. <laughs> I was just mixing them. Y'all, I wasn't spilling. <laughs> If you go overhead, Corbin, we can show them in the cup what that kind of looks like once you have watered it down, so to mm -hmm. speak, but it's alcohol down. So use rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. And so now it's not as pigmented, right? Yes. Alcohol ink is extremely pigmented, and if you use too much, you will Ooh. definitely over... Are you okay? It, yeah. Corbin and Love also say hi. Hi, hi. guys. All right, so I'm just dipping yep. this in the paper towel. Yes. And I'm just brushing it on my board. Oh, it's going to look so pretty. So you can tell it's picking up some of the grain. Oh, I love it. Yes. Very, very fun. I've never done this before. I didn't <laughs> even know you could. <laughs> Yeah, Shiloh's very so fun. Smart. Um, you could honestly, guys, you could do this with the red alcohol ink for Fourth of July. You could yeah. do it with blue. We could have gotten really crazy with it. Yeah. <laughs> but alcohol inks are really fun, and you don't have to just use them in epoxy. And so today I we see want to see how much better it looks on the front. Camera. Look, look, and you're yeah. gonna see the Black back. Camera. Blah, isn't that ugly? Yeah, yeah. It's got a sticker on it too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's so pretty. Yeah. Look how it just brings out the natural colors of the wood. It Yay. didn't even take that much. I know. So there's so the before pretty. and after. Yay. <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Don't turn our lights off. We need the light if you're listening. Okay. <laughs> so. All right. So while this dries, it doesn't take long to dry, no. but now we can cut the wood. So cut I'm the gonna vinyl. Cut the vinyl. <laughs> cut the vinyl. Cut the vinyl for yes. the wood. Um, fun fact, though, the new Silhouette Cameo 4 is um, able to cut wood. That really thin, like, millimeter-inch crafting wood, you just have to get the crafting blade, and it will cut wood. We'll have to try that one time online uh, with y'all. That's kind of scary, but anyways. Okay. I watched a few YouTube videos. So have do you want to turn that around and show them on the computer, sure. maybe? So okay. we are going to do one cut. Can you see it, Corbin? Uh, there's a Okay. okay, never mind. So, um, what we're going to do <laughs> is because this is a 5x5 five five and we have a 12x12 12 12 mat and we're using three colors, you might not know how to do this. And so, some beginners might not know mm -hmm. the funness of that. So, Silhouette Software has grid um, on the mat. That and so matches. That matches your cut mat in the software. Yes. So you can turn the grid on to where you can see how far down you need to place your different colors on the mat and arrange those different cuts. And then if it's the same type of vinyl, like today we're using the same type of vinyl, you can just send it all at once. Yes, it's yeah. a great time saver when you're yeah. doing, um, I'll do it if I'm doing like multiple colors, mm -hmm. you know, on a t-shirt. Yeah, for so, sure. Okay. So we are just gonna get us probably, let me see what size this is, Marcus. So yeah, it's we're just gonna cut some pieces yeah. off. It's two by five on the Did I do that big enough? Yeah. One. Let's see. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, 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 six. I need six. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> it goes into six a little bit. Okay. Um, so you can count the um, tiles on your software. Are we overhead to or front? The tiles on okay. Um 
so y'all can see yep. that is our blue chrome. Yes. Yep. And then the red, how much of the red do we need? About the same. So, yep, it is going to be a little over five by three, and it goes, the widest part is one, two, three, four, it's six squares also. Okay, so where does it start down here? So, you could probably literally put it like, yeah, just put it all right there. Just all right there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty, y'all. Yeah, and then you just need a little piece down here. square. So um, the, the brush goes two different directions, or I mean, it's got a direction to it. So you can just mm -hmm. decide which way you want. I want it to go horizontal. So, so I'm bottom gonna cut two it. squares to about right here. Okay, yeah, that'll be good. So does anybody have the new Cameo 4? I'm curious, does anybody said anything about the Cameo 4? Heidi said, we are her new favorite place to shop for crafts. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Heidi. That is the Thanks sweetest. for giving us a try. Okay, so we have it all loaded on. Yes. It's in the right spot. Mm -hmm. And so with adhesive vinyl, which is um, decal vinyl, what we're using today, you do not mirror your image. Um, and then we use transfer tape. So, so we need to adjust load. the... I'll go walk around. What do you need to do? Well, we have oh, the moved bar. to the bar. So, um, to, guys, when you're adjusting the bar... So you gotta unlock it, and then we gotta move it out to here for use with the um, what you call it. How do you lock it? It's, it is. It stays locked. locked. For Cameo four. Okay. Yes. So and I do too. I love it. Guys, locking. you want to make sure you put the bar back in the locked position. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Personal experience. So sorry to be out there. So um, you can see there's one of my hairs, but <laughs> the. <laughs> The mats, you can put them in any way, both ways, but we have it loaded like this, so we want it to go like this. Yep. You just line it up. If y'all want to scoot the actual machine back to the very back of the uh, table. table, we'll be able to go over here. Okay. Oh, cool. All right. I'm going to load it in. Push the up button to load it. Yes. And then it is good to go. I'm just going to extend that a little bit. Use that tray. Use that tray. We're gonna cut it. What are, how do we find our cut settings if we don't know, Shawn? Okay, so, <laughs> Margie. <laughs> so um, all of our products do have cut settings. We are in the process of updating those. You might find that some of the settings on our website right now are not accurate, um, and that is primarily my job. And so I am working diligently to test it across all different types of machines so mm -hmm. we can have a chart for every type of vinyl that we have here for your machine and that you know exactly what setting to put that on. Um, today we're going to use a setting blade of 3 and a force of 14 because Starcraft Magic is a little bit thicker um, and it also is not great for intricate cutting. So I'm going to slow it way down because we do have a star feature that mm -hmm. we're using in the blue section. And so this will kind of be fun for us to It'll really test, we'll put see. Starcraft Magic to the test and see how it works. So that is one great thing about the silhouette is you can adjust the force and the speed for mm -hmm. everything. It doesn't have, you can set your yeah. automatic settings, but then you can also change them. So. Yeah, something that I do love about Silhouette is that the, the speed, per mm -hmm. se. Yes. Um, Cricut has one speed, you cannot adjust that. And if you have an intricate cut, it goes too fast a lot and it will shred your vinyl. And that's yeah. a huge downfall to that product. Mm -hmm. But um, we were not here to bad mouth Cricut. No, so. we're just letting you know that Silhouette, you can adjust the speed. Yes, so. exactly. And you can buy the new Cameo 4. It's under tools, <laughs> cutting machines. So <laughs> it's so much quieter. I love it because it'll tell us the time to yep. cut. So it says, what does it say? It three? says a little over three minutes. Yeah. yeah. This is my first time to see a cameo for it. It's really? amazing. Yeah. I love mine. mine. I love it so much. Um, something really important that I will mention, um, I got on some silhouette groups and just before I purchased mine to see what people were saying, a lot of people don't know you have to lock your blade in place. Yes. So the older yeah. models of Silhouette didn't require you to do that. And so the newer one has a little pull-out tab to insert it, and you have to push that back in. Otherwise, your blade will be hopping around, and it's not yeah. going to be giving the proper force on your body. Yeah, like on my blade, it's got a twist thing yeah. that you lock it into place. But this one has a magnet built onto it. And so if yeah. you see a gap in here at all, that means it's not. it in. means it's not in place. So it looks like it's handling it beautifully. It is. It's not messing up. Can 
they see? Are y'all overhead still, or are you front? Oh my gosh, y'all, it looks so good. Those yep. little stars, I was worried about them because... So speed is key. Speed is key. <laughs> right now we're on a speed of three, just to give y'all an yeah. idea. And if we were doing a fast, like if you're doing a big thing like this, like these big stars would be fine at a faster speed. Yeah, so. yeah, and I feel like a heat transfer vinyl in general, yes. you don't have to worry so much about the speed with that. Why? I don't know. Well, it's because it doesn't have it the doesn't adhesive lift. like this does, and yeah. it doesn't lift. Yeah, it like, doesn't lift. The adhesive, the backing. the backing is stronger. Stronger, yeah. And it's not like, you know, it's just easier to weed. Yeah. Yeah. HTV then for sure. Uh, We're gonna yes. pull them out anyway, so uh, that's okay. They're so cute. Yeah, they are. So cute. Y'all, these are so pretty. <laughs> so do y'all have big plans for Fourth of July? Have you been making shirts for your family for Fourth of July? After I made this shirt, my daughter Avery said, Mom, I want one too. So I'm gonna buy Aww. her a shirt to make her one. So. I had plans to put American honey on this one in that cute little staggered font, but mm -hmm. I did not get around to that. So here I am in my plain <laughs> tee. <laughs> Once again, y'all know me in these plain tees. Um, but that's okay. It's okay. It's cute. It's good. Um, what else is going on? So we still are doing free shipping for orders over $50. I don't yes. know if we mentioned that. Yep, and um, there is a coupon code in the comments that is currently available. It's Independence 15, and it saves you 15% on Caesar Easy Weed 15 by 12 sheets. Yes. And, um, oh, we didn't tell them the prices of this. Oh, oh my gosh, and we the forgot. Sizes. Oh my goodness. We're just so excited. So. <laughs> It comes in 12 by 12 and 12 by 24. Yep. The 12 by 12 are 250 and the 12 by 24 are 450. And yes. it is a permanent indoor outdoor use of three to five years. Yes, the fluorescent colors only have, they have less life time if you're putting it outside. There are life expectancy. So the fluorescent colors were will dull. Okay. Yeah, in the sun. Time. Yeah, that's cool. All right, we're almost done. It's cutting the, the words now. I know. It's like the old modems back in the day. Do y'all remember when you had to dial, dial in modem to get on the internet? Dial up was the best. That was oh crazy. God. I know. I remember we had a kid's line at our house, and then once the internet became popular, my dad took over our kid's line for <laughs> his so internet. Funny. All right, guys, let's take a look right. before we take it out. Uh-oh, we missed, we missed oh this. No. So we'll have to recut that section. But mm -hmm. something really cool, you guys, about soft uh, uh, the Silhouette software is that you can literally go back and select the things in your send tab that you don't want to resend, and then you can adjust your vinyl and mm -hmm. go back and redo like it. You so can we're going to move it, it over right there. Yep. Since I cut a big piece. Yep. We are literally going to take this and move it over here. And I'm going to move it. Do I need to go down? Yeah, go down. Is that right there? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, cool. Yeah, because it's right under the five. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to do no cut on this piece and no cut on this So you piece. can select no cut and don't forget to no cut day. I know. I just realized it didn't <laughs> Sorry. <work> at all. <laughs> no, I was going back. You're fine. Okay. And you can also cut by color in the silhouette. Yes. Uh, and group by color. And group by <gasps> color. It's such a lot. So it's really, it's yeah. really handy. So now so we're if going to recut our yep. red. If you're freehanding your designs, like if you don't, take something from Google or whatever and you're actually creating something on your own I love that you can like color in your graphic and then group your items by color so mm. that you have more control of things not getting resized yeah. and messed up so. oh yeah it's great so this is just gonna cut real quick and then we'll get to weeding yeah something that I've personally noticed between the silhouette and the Cricut is that the silhouette is much faster overall I don't know why, um, but it is. <laughs> That's done. All right, it's All done. Right, that looks good now. We're gonna unload it, and then we are going to move that out of the way so we can weed our final. All right. You wanna push it up? I love the sleek design of the new four. I know. It's really pretty. It is so cute. So pretty. All right. So here we are. With that. I'm gonna just cut off the bad <laughs> one. How are y'all sticking with this? Are y'all still is a here? Lengthy thing. It is. We Sorry. wanted to show y'all more in depth of some stuff today. Yeah, people always ask about design and silhouette and cutting, so we just thought since we got the new silhouette, it would be a fun time to show you how we do our things. So sure. Go okay, okay, go overhead. Um, All right. Do you mind pushing yours up more? So I don't mind it. All right, y'all. Look, 
Look how beautifully this cut. Voila. Oh, look at the back. The back's pretty. So some people do ask if it's double-sided. This oh. is not like colored on the other side, but it is pretty on the other side. It's a pretty silver. So. Yeah. These stars might take me a while. But. They probably will. I'll do the Independence Day. So I'm using a pin pen, and what I love about the pin yes. pen is that you can literally just kind of stack it up on the needle. Um, and so it's not like you have to pull one out and then stop and readjust. And once you get going, it is so easy. It is easy. And this is our comfort, um, our, oh my gosh, exacto knife comfort blade. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's a good tool to, uh oh, the eye. <gasps> slow margin. Y'all, eyes and me. Okay, good. There are no dots to the eyes. So if you're not familiar with what an intricate cut is, um, they don't recommend that you use this vinyl with intricate cuts. Um, I have successfully done it, but... Because she's shy one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason why she was able to do it. So. I know. It's she's just, um, it's, it's literally just the patience. It's and the patience and the, the trial the and speed error. speed is so key. Yes. I cannot stress that enough. So if you're wanting to do an intricate cut on this, we would suggest that you select, just do a little portion, you know, just do a little test cut with it and see how it works so you don't waste your whole sheet because so, these do cost a little bit more. Yeah. So you remember when you made me put stars at the top and I said they don't fit? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm giving I do Margie a hard time. What happened in the... The, the bottom triangles. Well, they cut it because it was too. Oh. It was too big in that area. It's my fault. It's okay. <laughs> I just when I was designing <laughs> this, <laughs> when I designed this, I had one star at the top, and Margie said, "Oh, it needs three. And I was like, "They're not gonna fit. And she's like, "Yeah, I will. I'm like, "Okay." So here we are. <laughs> just kidding. Here we are. Here, Shyla was right. Margie's wrong. Shyla's <laughs> always right. Margie's yeah. always wrong. <laughs> definitely showed me up a time oh, or two. I don't know about it doesn't that. look bad yeah, though. We'll just pull the okay. triangle out of that. Too. Yeah. That's so good. what we like about our handy dandy knife, do you have the do you have the knife? Yeah, it's the right here. Just go ahead and slice that little triangle out and we'll just leave those out at the top. So what you could do is you could always go back and readjust your design and mm -hmm. then go back and cut the top bar if you wanted to, yeah. but you know what? Today it, honestly it, it looks like that cute. star fall. Mm -hmm type of thing yeah okay. that we did it on purpose that is how I wanted it to look <laughs> all right so we are using our hefty KT 65 hundred yard roll baby and we we have used a lot of that uh, we've been using it for a long time it comes much bigger than that yes. which is what's scary we still have it we have it back we were out of stock of it for a little while and we've got it back so guess who's that back, a back. <laughs> Go again Tell a friend. So we're telling you, friend. 1865 is back. And I was, <laughs> I was so excited about this, guys. Our felt edge squeegees. We got them back, and we have them in more colors. Oh, my gosh. That makes me so excited yes. because you want to use felt edge squeegees with these type of metallic. Yes, you do. And these more delicate mm -hmm. lines. So, um, so you don't scratch them. It's, rub, it's, not, it's rubber on one end and then felt on the other. Yes. These so are nice. 250. Yay. And then we have them in yellow blue and white and then there is also a caesar one i think the caesar one's 220. caesar one is 220. all right so i'm going to use a squeegee Let's here watch shala squeegee away and this board is dry feels good I'm on overhead, guys. okay okay we're on overhead i'll, I'll move up because <laughs> i know i'm always out of the view is that good there if we have it yeah, right there okay all right, so you don't have to worry about using the felt edge when you're applying your transfer tape. It's when you apply it to your item after you have after taken you the, tape the, the transfer tape, tape off. Yes. It helps you. You know how it's always good to, after you, you'll see, after you get it on, then you want to just go and make sure. Look how great the AT65 picks up, y'all. Yeah. And that cut setting was pretty great for this. I so know, just keep that in mind. It was perfect. A, a lot of people are like, a blade of three and force of 14 for adhesive vinyl. And I'm like, I'm telling y'all, I use it all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she does. I'm telling you, it's right. Just listen to Shala. Okay, so what are we doing here? About right, right there? Or tell so. me up? Or what are we doing? I think right there. Or they, do they it butt goes, up? Okay. Mm -hmm, they yeah, butt up together. Good. I'm trying not to make it crooked. <laughs> Do y'all 
When you're tr- when I'm trying to follow directions ah. somewhere, you know, like on my phone, or I turn the radio down <laughs> <laughs> to find directions. Or if I'm lost, I turn the radio down because I can't listen and look at the same time. you can't listen and look at the same time. That's so funny. All right, guys. Look how good it looks. So if you're fighting with your vinyl to stick on items, Margie and I say this all the time, that your transfer tape is too strong of a, dr- yes. st- strong of a grip. But do you see how I'm doing this? Yep. Like, you can use your squeegee to help you if you are fighting. And then you just want to take that nice felt okay. edge and rub it. Yep. No bubbles. Oh, so beautiful. It is so pretty. All right. Any questions? Comments? Nope, not me. Laura says that she would love to make this project. Oh, yeah. Well, guess what? The SVG's free. The SVG's free. And but you could cut this out and put it on a shirt. You could. You could put, it would be really cute on a shirt. <laughs> and the medals. Yes. Yes, that yeah, would look really cute. You now you're making me want to do one. Do one. <laughs> do one. I think you should, Shyla. And then I'll wear it all year round. Mm-hmm. Independence Day. Independence Day. All right. There we go. And so if you saw how Margie pulled away the backing from the transfer tape and I did it the opposite way, that's a little trick if you're having trouble getting your vinyl to stick to your transfer tape. It is less resistant if you pull backing away instead of transfer tape yeah. away. So you just, I, I always flip everything upside down and do it that way. That's just how I was taught because I probably used crappy you transfer tape in the beginning. <laughs> crappy transfer tape. And I would fight with it, so... So we just need to figure out the gapping. Like how yeah. do we, how big do we want the gap? Up just up a little bit. More. That looks good. I think that looks good. So cute. Okay, here we Emory go. Says that she would eat all that. You would, Emery? Oh, <laughs> we could make a cheese board for I work. love how you said that annoyed. That's her sister. <laughs> She's allowed to sound that way. All right. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Emery. Yeah. Emery said she would eat all that. So I always just use my squeegee, guys, when I'm doing something like this. It just makes me feel better. Yep. And then you smooth it with that felt edge, and look how pretty. And we just have one more thing to put on our Independence Day. So while she's doing that, I'm going to go back over our sale. So coupon code INDEPENDENCE15 will save you 15% off Caesar Easy Weed, 15 inches by 12 inch sheets only. Um, but you can mix and match as many colors. And if you buy 15 or more sheets, the discount is even more. So yeah. that's exciting. And we want you all to have a safe and happy Independence Day weekend. Um, we do want to go ahead and state our lobby is closed. We are closed Saturday. on Saturday. <laughs> for so. 4th of July. Yes. So if you need to come pick up your vinyl, I encourage you to do so tomorrow. Friday will be open again on Sunday, but we will. Yes. the lobby will be closed. Is that good? How did so you have it? it? Goes, did you want it to overlap? I think it goes into the red, More. and it goes in between the two. Oh, yeah. Okay. Looks like, like, like that. Looks good. Aw, so pretty. I am obsessed with these new StarCraft oh gosh, vinyls. Y'all, they are these so These finishes are pretty. so good. Yeah, I'm really excited about these. And look how well they stick, guys. Mm-hmm. Really, really nice. Really nice. And we could have told you this before. You can always layer it everything before you put it on the board. It yeah. just depends on your preference. There's as a to ton what, of ways yes. to do adhesive vinyl. I also saw a trick on TikTok recently where people are lining things up with... Oh, closer. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, can y'all see all the dimensions? Look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? So now that your <gasps> vinyl's on too, you could go back with the alcohol ink again, and you could do more like rustic strokes across the wood. You could literally do anything you yeah, want. Yeah, you this. could add another color if you wanted, yep. and then you can just, it'll not stick to the vinyl. Yeah, no. The alcohol wink. Yep. Wink. Wink. The the alcohol wink won't stick. <laughs> We've all started making fun of ourselves <laughs> the same way. So you can get this exact SVG on our website under the tools tab and the SVG spot or in our featured products on the home page um, and it's free and download that to have that for all of your Independence yeah. Day crafts it would be a cute shirt or if you want yeah. to make it on a plate yes the very, possibilities very are endless y'all it <laughs> is and so we hope that you guys liked this craft today yeah. and that you loved getting a demo of the cameo for I know and hopefully you learned something new. Hopefully so. <laughs> so anyway, follow us on all our social media. Yes. We're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, yeah. and YouTube. 
Yes, and take advantage of the sale. We are so excited yeah. about it and have a happy and safe 4th of July yes. and Independence Day. And we'll see you all guys soon. I know. Bye, everybody. Bye.